In this video, I'm going to talk about how to improve your night vision. Your eyes have the retina and the fovea. The retina area is responsible for peripheral sensory information like depth and distance between objects, and the fovea is the tiny center of the eye that gives the highest amount of detail. Within the retina and the fovea are photoreceptors that are cone or rod shaped. Photoreceptors are specialized cells for detecting light. The retina comprises of cones and rods. Cones are active at the highest light levels and are capable of color vision. They are responsible for high spatial acuity or the sharpest vision. Rods are responsible for vision at low light levels, in other words, night vision. They do not give color vision and have low spatial acuity. Your vision isn't as sharp with just rods and you see in black and white. There's a mix of cones and rods in the retina. This is the area outside of your central vision. There are about 6,400,000 cones. There are about 120 million rods that make up the mix of photoreceptors that are in the retina. The fovea is comprised of all cones. Let me repeat that. The fovea, your central vision, and the sharpest part of your vision is comprised of all cones. There are approximately 200,000 cones in the fovea. This is a small number of cones compared to the 6,400,000 cones that are spread throughout the retina. In fact, the retina has 32 times more cones than that of the fovea. I realized when I started to be aware of my peripheral vision, noticing color and depth between objects as well as movement, it made my central vision, the fovea, sharper. The more I started to look at and be aware of the entire scene and movement, the better my vision became. I wasn't just relying on the information from my central vision, I was starting to use the entire surface area of my eyes to help me see. It is quite a challenge at first trying to notice everything because it felt like information overload, but I found the more I did it, the easier it got. After understanding that the retina is responsible for peripheral sensory information like depth and distance between objects, I started thinking about how I see differently at night. Instead of trying to look for color objects in my peripheral when the light was low, I started to look for darker shapes and shadows in my peripheral and mentally judging how far they were away. It's easy to become tunnel vision at night because you look and strain with your central vision on anything that has light. But understand that darkness gives you a lot of information about what's around you, especially when you're in motion. The more aware I became of dark shapes, objects, and shadows, and how they moved when I was moving, it made it easier for me to see at night. I stopped looking for color because there was very little color when you're in a dimly lit room. This was one of the key things that improved my eyesight at nighttime. Peripheral vision isn't the only thing that I talk about that makes your overall vision better, but it is a big part of it. Just look at the number of photoreceptors in the eyes and that will give you a big clue of how important peripheral vision is to see sharply. There are 6.4 million cones and 120 million rods in the retina versus 200,000 cones that's in your central vision. Why would there be so many cones and rods in the retina if it wasn't important? It's a combination of 126.4 million photoreceptors versus 200,000. I've taken several courses over the past few years that deal with muscles in the brain, and the one thing that I've learned is that big muscles and bone groups should be doing the heavy work. However, when small muscles do the work that big muscles should be doing, that's when you end up with pain and injury. I believe the same holds true with these photoreceptor clusters in our eyes. The larger combination of rods and cones in our eyes should be noticing our surroundings first, and the smaller cluster of cones should only be looking for the details. Us with myopia seem to get this backwards and want to use our central vision to do everything. There's one more thing I want to mention. 
Photoreceptors are sensors. They collect information, but they do not output any information. You have to receive sensory information before you can produce a muscle output, like focusing sharply on something far away. Now that's something to think about. This is Mark Warren with Myopia is Mental, and we'll catch you on the next one. For more information about how to improve your eyesight naturally, check out this video next.